In the blink of an eye, a man's dream journey turned into a nightmare. This man, let's call him John, had an insatiable wanderlust. He always dreamt of exploring the world, and finally, he was on his way to his dream country. His heart was full of excitement, his mind buzzing with anticipation, the thrill of the journey ahead was reflected in his eyes. As he boarded the plane, he could hardly contain his joy. The plane, a gleaming bird of steel, promised an adventure John had been yearning for. As the plane ascended John's imagination took flight, painting vivid pictures of the adventures that awaited him, but as fate would have it, his reverie was cut short. Without any warning, the plane shuddered violently. The once soothing drone of the engines turned into a deafening roar. The sudden jerk yanked him out of his musings, and his heart pounded in his chest. A wave of panic swept through the cabin. Oxygen masks dropped from the ceiling their dangling forms a grim reminder of the impending doom. The plane began to lurch and plummet a helpless bird with broken wings. John's dream journey was spiraling into a nightmare. The plane hurtled towards an unknown forest. The lush green canopy, a stark contrast to the azure sky, rapidly approached. The forest was not an ordinary one. It was a world untouched by human hands, a place where reality seemed to blur into the realms of fantasy. It was far from normal. The plane crashed, metal and glass shattered, echoing the terrifying symphony of destruction. The forest swallowed the wreckage, its verdant tranquility disrupted by the intrusion. Silence fell over the scene, a haunting testament to the catastrophe that had unfolded. Amidst the twisted metal and smoldering wreckage, John emerged. He was the only survivor. His dream journey had turned into a nightmare. Little did he know the nightmare had only just begun. A roar echoed through the forest, chilling him to the bone. As the primal sound reverberated among the trees he realized he was not alone. A blue T-Rex, colossal and terrifying, was making its presence known. The sight of this prehistoric tyrant, in a hue he had never seen before, sent a shiver down his spine. The man's heartbeat was so loud he was afraid the T-Rex might hear it. His instincts kicked in, and he scrambled to find a hiding place among the forest debris. He dove beneath a pile of sticks and leaves, praying the makeshift camouflage would be enough to deceive the beast's keen senses. The man's breath hitched as the ground shook with each of the dinosaur's thunderous steps. His fear was palpable, a tangible entity that threatened to consume him. His heart pounded in his chest as he lay still, hoping against hope that his desperate attempt at concealment would keep him safe. Suddenly, two asteroids plummeted from the sky, igniting the forest. As the forest was consumed by fire a giant flying eye emerged from the ground. A sight far removed from the realm of reality yet there it was. The man stood frozen, the sheer strangeness of the spectacle before him holding him captive. His heart pounded in his chest a relentless drum echoing his mounting fear. The eye hovered, an eerie silent sentinel in the midst of chaos. Its gaze seemed to pierce through him, as if it could see into the very depths of his soul. The man felt a chill creeping up his spine, the cold dread spreading through his veins. He was a stranger in a strange land, a pawn in a surreal game of survival. Just when he thought he had reached the zenith of his fear, another impossible creature made its entrance. From the depths of the earth, a black dog, the size of a school, reared its head. Its eyes gleamed with an otherworldly light, its presence adding another layer to the already thick atmosphere of tension. The man was trapped in a nightmarish tableau his mind struggling to comprehend the reality of what was unfolding before him. It seemed as if the universe was against him, and then, a McDonald's fry appeared. A symbol of the familiar in a world turned upside down, a beacon in the darkness, or perhaps just another twist in this twisted tale. In the midst of chaos, a McDonald's fry appeared before him. A golden, salty morsel in a world turned upside down, his stomach growled, a reminder of the mundane in a situation far from ordinary. The fry, a beacon of familiarity, beckoned him. Confusion danced with hunger in his eyes. Was this a trick, some cosmic joke, or perhaps the universe extending a greasy olive branch in the form of a fast food staple? He picked it up, the warm, crinkly fry feeling almost comforting in his hand, and in a moment of reckless hunger, he ate it. The taste, so familiar, so undeniably earthly, was a stark contrast to the alien world around him. But as he swallowed, the normalcy shattered. His mouth opened and instead of the sigh of satisfaction one might expect after indulging a fast food craving, a flying jellyfish emerged. Yes, you heard it right. A jellyfish, iridescent and floating, born from a moment of deep-fried indulgence. The man watched in stunned silence as the creature fluttered away, a symbol of his reality spiraling further into the realm of the absurd. 
His eyes bulged and a bloop the size of a tree burst from them. He was blind. The world faded to black but the taste of the fry lingered a cruel reminder of the ordinary world he had left behind. Blinded and in a world gone mad he felt a presence. The blue T-Rex was back. A chill ran down his spine, the kind you get when you realize you're not alone. The ground shook beneath his feet, each stomp echoing like a drumbeat of impending doom. His heart pounded in his chest, a desperate rhythm trying to keep pace with the dinosaur's monstrous strides. A primal terror gripped him, one that transcends time and space, reaching back to when our ancestors hid in caves from creatures like these. But here in this strange forest, there were no caves to hide in, only the thin veil of leaves and sticks that seemed laughably inadequate against the behemoth that lurked nearby. The air grew heavy, filled with the fetid scent of the dinosaur. It was a smell that spoke of raw power, of a creature not bound by the rules of any world he knew. Blind and defenseless, he could only guess the distance between him and the beast. Each thunderous footfall, each rustle of leaves, each snort and growl was a terrifying reminder of the predator nearby. His mind raced, conjuring up wild plans of escape, but his body, paralyzed by fear, refused to move. He was a rabbit caught in the gaze of a wolf, knowing that any attempt to flee would only hasten the inevitable. His thoughts became a blur, a whirlwind of panic and desperation. And then, the moment came. A shadow fell over him, blocking what little light filtered through his closed eyelids. The air was sucked out of his lungs as the T-Rex let out a roar, a sound so powerful it seemed to shake the very fabric of reality. He felt a rush of wind, a sense of weightlessness, and then, darkness. His dream journey ended inside the belly of a blue T-Rex. A surreal ending to a journey that began with a simple dream. A flight to a dream country that turned into a nightmare of cosmic proportions. It was a journey that tested the limits of belief, a journey that defied the laws of nature, a journey into the unknown. From a dream journey to a terrifying adventure, he had walked a path few could imagine. His dream trip had spiraled into a surreal nightmare, and he found himself the sole survivor of a plane crash, stranded in a forest far from normal. This was no ordinary forest, and he was not alone. The roar of a blue T-Rex echoed through the trees, a prehistoric beast in a world where such creatures should have been extinct. He had hidden, desperately trying to escape the dinosaur's notice, sheltering beneath a makeshift cover of sticks and leaves. Then, the sky shattered. Two asteroids plummeted from the heavens, setting the forest ablaze. As the fire spread, a giant eye, a behemoth entity, rose from the ground. It was a sight that would have been impossible in any normal world, yet here in this bizarre reality, it was just another twist in his nightmarish journey. But the universe wasn't done with him yet. A black dog the size of a school emerged from the charred earth. It seemed to be looking for him, its eyes scanning the burning forest. His heart pounded in his chest, the fear of being discovered overwhelming. And then, in the midst of all this chaos, a single McDonald's fry materialized before him, Starving, he ate it, but the universe had one more trick up its sleeve. A flying jellyfish emerged from his mouth, a bloop the size of a tree sprouted from his eyes. He was blind, disoriented, lost in this terrifying world. In the end, he was claimed by the blue T-Rex, the first creature he had encountered in this strange, terrifying forest. His bizarre journey had come to a tragic end, swallowed whole in a world that was far from normal. In the end he was just a man, a man who had found himself in a world far from normal.